Welcome to the 10th tutorial on beginning Java. In this tutorial we will be dealing with the while loop. Now if you remember in the last video we were dealing with for loops. Those were quite complex. We had three sections that we had to be concerned with. The while loop is a lot easier to deal with. It only has one section that you need to be concerned with and that is a conditional test. The while statement will test the condition at the beginning of the loop before any statements in the loop have been handled. And if it keeps testing out true, the loop will keep going around and around. Also, if the testing condition never changes, the loop will just keep going around indefinitely. So you have to be a little bit careful unless that is what you are intending. Alrighty then, let's get started. We're going to define a variable and we're going to call that, let's call that top number. And we're going to say that is equal to 15. And then we're going to define another variable we're going to call that the bottom number. We're going to say that is equal to 1. Actually, we've got to put in our semicolons. And now we will type in the while keyword, and that will kick off our while loop. We have to type in open parenthesis. And like I said before, we only have to be concerned with one section here. So this is much easier than the for loop. And we will set a condition here. And the condition we're going to set is we're going to say the bottom number must be less than the top number. And if it is not, then the loop will end. And what we're going to do in this loop is do a system.out.print. So let's do that. And we are going to print out the line, this is a loop. Now, if we just ran this program here, it would loop indefinitely. And the reason is, is we have not incremented this bottom variable here. So we need to do that now. So we, we specify here bottom number, and we use the plus plus operator to increment this one each time the loop is run. So I think we are all set now. Let's go ahead and run this. And we should get a bunch of lines printed out, and we did. And I believe this will equal 14 lines. So let's, let's run through this. So basically, this looped around each time and incremented the bottom number variable by 1 each time. When it hit 15, this condition was no longer true because the bottom number equaled the top number. The bottom number was 15, and that equals the top number. So it exited out of the program. Now what I want to show you, let's say we set this bottom number to 16. So the first run is going to be false. So it won't even get to this statement. It will stop right here because the bottom number is now larger than the top number. And, we, and that would be a false condition. So let's go ahead and run that. I'm expecting we will not get any output here. And we did not. So that's how while loops are done. And I will see you guys in the next video.